Hey everybody and welcome back. This is Strange to Society and we are playing The Legend of K. And we are we have just gotten to the training dojo and we're about to go meet our master. And uh, he is quite an old cat and he is quite a drunk cat. Uh, which you don't see much in uh, games anymore. What does this say? The holy spring that has run dry in recent times. Not long ago, the holy water has flowed here that granted a long and healthy life. Okay. So this is an old well, and it represented the way, and we're going to find out more about the way. But it's kind of dried up, and there's not much to it. Uh, what you see down here is an infinite health respawn, so if I get hurt, I can jump down there. But we won't be in this area long. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk to... Well, hold on. Let me hit this checkpoint here. All right, now we're saved. Now let me go talk to uh, the master. Master? <laughs> ah, there you are. Come on, let's continue with our training. But first, I want you to consider one of the lessons of our ancestors. Ah, not another story, Master. Can't we just get straight to fighting? You promised me a new weapon today. Did I? Hmm. Ah, yes. Look over there. It is ready for you. Master, a wooden sword? I'll be the joke of the village. What about the sword in your house? The sword from our ancestors? Get serious. That's a legendary weapon, reserved for the cat champion of the prophecies. Attack me with the triple strike. But bear in mind that the power strikes take longer and thus you lose a bit of your agility. Come on, attack me. Okay, so this is an adventure platformer, but there are a lot of beat-em-up elements. You learn quickly. And uh, we are going to use different kinds of weapons. Try something. And the sword is the first one that we're going to get. The first of three. Okay. Attack me. And there are a lot of uh, different moves. You can crouch, and you can actually crawl, which is kind of nice. But if you crouch, and then um, uh, crouch and press the square, then you can do an uppercut. All right. And uh, it's quite powerful. We'll knock foes up into the air. Excellent. Now jump and attack to hit opponents on the floor. The attack okay. targets your opponent. Go on, try it. Okay, now he's telling us how to do an aerial strike where you um, jump and then you press the square and then he does a downward slash. And uh, you can, once again, you can double jump and get an extra height. Not bad at all, my little novice. And hey, we solved the quest. We got it. Here's your reward. This is a heart container. With its help, you'll get stronger, and you can carry more life energy. It's a very precious item. If you find such an item, don't reject it. Okay, so that little item increases our health, much like in the Legend of Zelda series. Hey! Kung! Whoa! Yeah, but with your center, your chi, like... <laughs> Very impressive, Master Fossil. Why do you waste your time play fighting when there's Gorilla Masters to be served? Whoa! Battle Scars! Well, I bet you won. Huh. Gorillas always win. It's all clear. Just some mangy cats. 123 central means, 87 guan twirls, and 46 and a half cubic twats. So, that's how it worked. The Cho Wang number series utilized differentially. <laughs> 
Differentially. Differentially. And made of pure native sandstone, of course. You! Apes there! Get to the quarry and cut me a block of sandstone ten times the size of this fountain! And hurry! This plan's a fool's errand, Alchemist. Oh, now gorillas are experts in transmogrification. <laughs> what next? Bananas with cheese sauce? Ugh, cheese. You rats disgust me. When Wallow erupts, the fires within will swallow... Swallow up the past and reveal the future. A future replete with... Uh, whiskers. <laughs> you mangy little... I... Uh... Feel the vengeance of Yan Ching, invader! You furball licking! Stop! Bullwax will do the job nicely. <laughs> we don't need buoys turning bums into heroes. <laughs> we have what we came for. Ape! Whoa! You've never shown me those attacks, Master. Uh, then... Perhaps it's time, my boy. Perhaps it's time. Oh. Okay, this is the last loading screen I'm going to show, if there are any. They're not that many, but they are kind of long, so I'm just going to cut those out from here on out. Ah, oh, I'm exhausted, kid. Leave me alone for a while, so I can gather new powers through... Meditation. You'd best return to the village and attend to your duties. I'll send a message to your uncle when I need you again. And remember the face of that tack, the rat alchemist. He's trouble waiting to happen. All right, so now we get to keep our wooden sword, which allows us to break open pots and other things. Which is kind of nice, but uh, at this point we basically go off and we can complete some side quests as we wait for our master to uh, regain some strength and uh, do some meditation. Right, okay, anyway. Um, you can explore around the area, but there's not a whole lot of secrets um, to be had just yet. And uh, so I'm going to head back this way. Um, yeah, those cutscenes. How do you like those cutscenes? Um, I do kind of wish that, uh, I would have liked to have seen fully animated, uh, cutscenes, but the comic book style isn't too bad, and there is a little bit of animation and stuff. I'm not bothering with the ropes because the, uh, the river, the water is flowing this direction, so I actually get through it pretty quick. Um, anyway... So now we get to do some side quests, so we can talk to different people around town and uh, help them with some of their problems. Um, to clarify some things, if you haven't figured it out already, we do we have... Say, hold on, let's read this poster. Minister Shun says, society must become safer. Surrender your weapons for the new society. Um, what was I going to say? Okay, so the gorillas are basically the brute force, kind of military force. And then the rats are more science and alchemy and all that other fun stuff. So, hey, there's a kid right here. Let's talk to him. Hi, Meng. Why are you in here and not out in the woods? It used to be much nicer in the village. The stupid rats won't let us play in the woods anymore. Then you have to show them who's the boss. Very funny, Kay. That's a good one. Okay. Anyway. Um, and there's a lot of different stuff you can do. You can jump, you can climb, you can get on the ropes, you can flip around. Um, the combat system is quite advanced and there's a lot of different things that you can do. You do get magic too, but we'll get into that later. And uh, there's a lots of money that you can collect and pick up, which is very handy. If I don't uh, fall off the edge somehow, hold on, let me go back. And it's probably going to be gone by the time I get back up there. Oh, no, money's still there. Uh, so we'll need that money to buy upgrades and health potions, all that good stuff. You know, normal fare. But, uh, yeah, you can enter houses now and talk to different people. And uh, I 
I'll be honest, I am probably going to wander a little bit from time to time because I've played this game through twice so far. Once. What's the deal with these special weapons? The sword, the hammer, and the claw. Each of these weapons can be fierce or feeble. It's up to you to learn their strengths. You can upgrade each weapon two times. Okay, um... What was I about to say? Um, I will be wandering from time to time. I've played this twice. Once when I first got it, and once... Uh, just recently preparing for this LP. And, uh... Well, I don't... I haven't memorized where everything is, so I may wander from time to time. Just trying to get back into the swing of things. And I may discover new things. Um, and then we have another cat kid. Uh, let's talk hey to this guy. one. Why are you hiding in here? Go play outside in the sunshine. Ever since Sean came, I'm afraid to play outside. No way! Just ignore them. Yeah, these gorillas and rats are just a bunch of bullies and they're scaring all the kids. And uh, Do remember where these kids are. Uh, they will come into play a little bit later. But uh, And there's a locked door that I can't get into just yet. Let's go in here. So, I don't remember where exactly everything is. I will be trying to hunt everything down, but I don't want to waste your guys' time too much, so I may skip some things. Uh, but like I said, if I skip any like important items, they will become available at the shop, so it won't be that big of a deal. Kylie, what's with these annoying rats and gorillas? How the rats and gorillas wail and rant at us. In the times of the way, we had peace and happiness. Now all we have is the stridency and clatter of din. So, um, so I just wanted to make make that point clear because um, you, if you have played this, if you're one of those very rare people who has played this game, then uh, you might point something out that I miss and. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I don't know the game that well. I did enjoy it, but I enjoyed a lot of games. This just happened to be a little hidden, lesser-known gem that I really wanted to show off. So. Hello, Tang Mu. Why are you slaving over a hot stove all day? Hey, I have to cook for my children, but I don't know where they are. I'm worried with all these rats and gorillas running around. Can you help me with my search? If you do, I will give you a present. No prob. When I see the kids, I'll send them home. Okay, so this is the mother of the kids. There are four kit kids, or I'll just call them kittens, because that's pretty much what they are. So, actually, let's run back real quick and get those two that I found already, which should be one in here. This was the storage, yeah. Um, so anyway, but, and this is kind of... I've heard your siblings will drink the whole bowl of milk if you're not there. Yeah, I better hurry back. Bye! Like I said, this is the intro stage. There's a lot of tutorials, there's a lot of little side stuff, so it is kind of slow. The pace will pick up and we'll be getting into the fighting and the adventuring and the platforming and all that other good stuff. Uh, as soon as we leave here, we just have to take care of a few things first. Bang. Your mom is worried. You better go home now. My mom is worried? Oh, I better get home right away! Now, how do you like that voice acting? It is... I was very impressed when I first got this game because every single line is voice acted by somebody. And... That was kind of rare back in the day with a game that has this much dialogue. So that was really cool that I uh, was able to find a game that has that level of dialogue. You see the edges of these rocks? You can reach them. You can reach those edges by doing the somersault jump. First you have to duck and then you have to jump. You will see that you can jump much higher by using this move. If you make it to the top within five seconds, you win a prize. And there's lots of these little kinds of challenges, and uh, if you make it, uh, a little chest will appear, and you can get something new and cool. So that's interesting. 
Ah, uh, and then I can just jump down there. There is no fall damage in this game. You can jump from whatever height you want, and you will not receive fall damage, which is a nice, especially in some levels later in the game. But uh, now that we had, we wouldn't, we were not able to access this place at first. But uh, hold on. Hey, don't bother me, Taxi. Get food. Must eat good to protect you. But, uh, and, oh, let's talk to this guy. Um, about what's going on here? They want to take our hens, but we need them. I believe Sean wanted to protect us, like the posters say. But I don't need no protection from my chickens. Maybe the line never consider that? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. They got some shifty plans, but, uh, oh, hold on, one more thing. Hey, Kay, wanna ride a wild boar? It's a heap of fun. I can show you. Sounds great. Let's go. You should try it. It's more fun than a bowl of catnip. If you stand behind the boa, you can just hop on. Don't worry, 5G here is real gentle-like. You can also slide while turning into the respective direction. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait! You can also jump off of the board. Ah, and one more. You can only ride the board for a certain amount of time. When the time's up, the board will unseat you. Oh, something else. You can extend your riding time by collecting acorns. And last but not least, when you pick up a chili pepper, the board speeds up. So be careful. Okay, okay. Let's get going. Okay, and we are going to ride this boar uh, in the next video. So I hope you're looking forward to that because that's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, I'll talk about that in the next video. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to close out this video and... I hope you guys are enjoying. If you do, please like, comment, subscribe. If you've played this game before and you have any tips, please write them in the comments below. Just please don't spoil anything. Uh, in the future, just if I've passed something, then uh, then uh, go ahead and write it down. But uh, anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.